doing is a, a, a huge amount to help people with the immediate cost of living, and of course we're going to do uh, we're going to do more. Uh, but this is about tackling some of the uh, the mistakes of, of the past and making sure that we are, are set well for the future. Uh, we're no longer subject to, uh, we're never again subject to the, the vagaries of the uh, global uh, oil or gas price. We can't be subject to blackmail, uh, as it were, from uh, people such as Vladimir Putin. We have energy security here in the UK. So it's a massive strategy for uh, delivering uh, 50 gigawatts, that's almost half the total electricity capacity of this country, from offshore wind uh, by 2030, uh, totally reviving the nuclear industry, which I'm afraid has been more or less moribund in this country. This is the home of nuclear energy. We first split the atom in the UK. We had the first civilian nuclear power plant. We're bringing nuclear home with uh, one nuclear plant and one nuclear reactor every year for eight years rather than one uh, a decade. What we're also doing is making sure that we uh, take a, a sensible, pragmatic view about hydrocarbons. We have domestic hydrocarbons. Uh, for the interim, uh, we've got to uh, make sure that we, uh, for the interim period, we transition to net zero. Net zero. We've got to make sure that we uh, use them sensibly as well and, and license stuff in the, in the North Sea uh, rather than uh, importing you know, higher carbon uh, fossil fuels from, from abroad, from, from Russia, amongst other places. Uh, but be in no doubt, this is a massively green strategy as well. Uh, by 2030, 95% of our electricity uh, will be from low carbon sources. And, and in, talk about offshore wind, what we're doing in offshore wind will, be, will mean we'll be able to power more than all the homes uh, in this country uh, just by offshore wind.